Hello everyone, this is Ryan, owner of Advanced Physical and Aquatic Therapy. Today I wanted to shoot uh, the first installment of a video series, basically highlighting some of the things we can do to keep our bodies fit and healthy and moving throughout our lifespan. And these are some of the things we typically do in physical therapy as people progress. So no matter what, we know that movement is the best medicine. And in doing that, we wanna keep up with some of the most basic human movements, and one of those is getting up and down from a chair or squatting. So a lot of times people have trouble with that and some of the healthcare profession tends to just tell people to stop doing that. So stop squatting, don't squat, you shouldn't squat. And our advice is the exact opposite. We just wanna take a look at how we're squatting and maybe get the correct muscles involved so it's not putting undue stress on our knees, our hips, or our back. And one of the most common things we do is a box squat. So let me grab this band right here. And it's a great modification to really get a very good workout if you're not injured or you're past physical therapy and you're working on just a regimented fitness program, which is what we want for all of our clients because our mission is to get you back to doing the things you love and then do that better than ever, happier, healthier, better than ever. So the way we do that is we use this band around our knees and that helps us activate more of our hip musculature. So it gets our hips doing more of the work where they kind of get dormant and it becomes a squat that's very knee heavy. So if we don't get our hips involved, our squat kind of looks like a good morning squat. You kind of bend forward, your knees go way over your toes, and you get up that way. Our body's trying to find the path of least resistance. It's the easiest way to do it, even though if it's not the best. So this box squat really trains the correct muscles well, these sides of your hip muscles. They're the biggest muscles in your body. So if we get the band around our knees, we can start with a five minute EMOM, and we do that a lot with people. So that means just every minute on the minute, we do a certain amount of reps of one movement. So I like to do five of these pumps where we activate our glutes, so five pumps, and then after the fifth pump, we're gonna keep tension on that band, and we're gonna do five box squats. So you're going straight up and down, trying to keep tension on the band. And now the key here is thinking about driving through your heels, not letting your knees collapse in like this, keeping them out over your ankles, and going straight up like a rocket ship. And the reason we do that is we're not doing that good morning squat and putting all this pressure on our knees. So we're activating our hips, and then once that is done, five and five, you'll rest. And then you'll wait till the timer hits four minutes and you're gonna do five and five again. And then the same thing at three, two, and one, and then you're done. And that's a great way to progress. So you can see how quickly you get done your five and five, that, that shows measurable progress. Then maybe five and five gets too easy. You're getting a lot of rest, so you wanna make it a little harder. So instead you do 10 and 10. And now it's more measurable progress. So it's a great way to see progress and a sliding scale of making it harder as you get better. I hope that helps. I'll be back with more uh, of this video series for keeping you healthy and fit throughout your lifespan. Take care.